in the previous video we have seen how to add resources using cloud formation templates this video i want to show you how to add parameters to the cloud formation templates adding parameters to the template gives reusability if we parameterize the templates we can reuse same template across uh, different environments even we can reuse this template for even different clients there this is our previous example which we have seen in previous video in this i have one single resource where we are creating vpc so this cider block is hard coded i want to take out this cider block from here i want to parameterize that let's see how to do that we have section called as parameters under this the type parameter and as we discussed in video one it automatically populates the skeleton code for us name this parameter let's give some meaningful name for this i want to call this one as vpc cider block let's describe select a cider block for vpc this is going to appear in the template under uh, parameters section for you the type of parameter we want is string in this case if you want to put some default value you also can put the default value and user can override this default value if required so i am putting some default value for this then inside this resource I want to refer the value entered by the user under parameters while uploading the template. For that, CloudFormation has different uh, functions. Uh, we have a function called as ref. Let's take out this. Uh, let's use that uh, open close curly brace. See that one. Okay, otherwise, we can take out that open close curly braces also. Directly, we can type ref. This editor automatically populates the code for that reference. See that uh, this is your JSON object. This is the key, which is nothing but ref here. And specify the logical name, nothing but this is the parameter logical name. So whatever user enters in this parameter, that value is substituted in this case. So this is how we parameterize cloud formation template and that is how we access the parameters uploaded used by the user at runtime. So let's upload this template and see how it works. This is the template we used in the previous example. I want to update the same template or you can create a new one. It's up to you. Let's choose the file. Uh, go to uh, this one a CF templates so under that this is the template of ours open it so go next see here this is a stack name because we are updating same stack we don't have options to edit that and the parameters we got this parameter here this is a logical parameter name we gave in the template like this one and it also displaying the description we given for this parameter there this is the description we got there correct so it also populated with default value you guys can change this if you want to change at runtime so we can reuse same template for creating different vpcs by passing different side blocks here let's say next and as usual click next here and say update this is how we uh, parameterize uh, templates we have different types of parameters uh, throughout the course in different videos i'll be uh, focusing on those parameter types based on the context thank you